What's a sexual deal breaker for you in a relationship? Lack of initiation. It's nice to feel desired. I had a girl tell me her fantasy was to have someone cut a hole in her then duck it. That. That's my line. There are a lot of pretty girls who duck like a tranquilized mattress. You need to be participating. Was in a relationship with a girl that wasn't into sex. Every time we had. It felt like she was just doing me a favor. That was a huge turn off and one of the reasons why we split. I believe for a healthy relationship sexual appetites need to be at least similar. Never initiating sex it feels the worst thing in the world when you have been in a relationship and have never had your girlfriend just climb all over you and want to duck your brains out it makes you feel very unattractive and that sex is a just something they don't like. Not being willing to spice it up or change it up. I knew my husband was the one when our first vacation together. We were checking out the beach house we rented and before we'd even made it upstairs he pushed me up against the counter and just pulled my pants down. Best vacation ever. Even after two kids and several years. We still surprise each other by jumping in a shower with each other or having kitchen sex when the kids are asleep. I once had a girl break up with me because I wasn't into the whole pissing fetish. No half measures when it comes to that fetish. Either you're in or you're out. Maybe a bit late but who cares. Once a girl asked me to bring my dog but when I asked what for she said that she wanted him to join us never got anywhere near her. Bad kissing. By which I mean the inability slash lack of initiative to learn to kiss the way your partner likes. I love kissing and consider it maybe the most important part of any sex act. And it's a huge turn on for me. But I've had a lot of people confuse that for more tongue. I like light kissing that gets deeper and only some tongue. If you don't kiss the same as me when we start out that is fine. I specifically have a grace period when I start seeing someone because I'm so specific about it. If we can't figure out some compromise. Though. And you won't kiss me softly for a little. I'm just not gonna be aroused at all. If they want to do any act that involves any bodily fluid that isn't normally involved in sex. 1000% not interested. Not understanding that what your last partner, S, did is not a blueprint for what your current partner, S, should do or would like and yes. You do have to take time to get to know each person's likes, limits, and respective sex drives. No oral worse if they want it but won't reciprocate. Demanding I shave or don't shave. Extremely gentle only missionary sex. Taking offense of every single suggestion, not demand. If we can't communicate without the fear of pissing you off how are we supposed to know what we like or don't like? Not stopping when the safe word gets dropped. Someone who does that is dangerous and it's a huge red flag that they don't care about your well-being. Deal breaker. Ha. You overestimate me dear red eider. I'll take whatever affection I can get. A dirty tongue. You can be the hottest person in the world but if you open your mouth and your tongue is white or yellow or brown. I'm instantly turned off. Brush your tongues people. People need to have compatible kinks. That seems pretty obvious but there are always people trying to tell themselves. Well. Maybe I can just do without this or maybe I can just put up with this for now without thinking of what that might mean for a relationship weeks. Months. And years down the line. If you're hiding something away, or begrudgingly tolerating it, your partner will feel that and it will affect everything else. Married almost 18 years and hubby only wants a hand job. He never initiates any physical touch. He tells me I'm not a normal female because I want sex. We went almost a year with no sex at one point. Starting to feel like a deal breaker. Bad breath. Also incest fantasy. A one night stand wanted to call me his sister. I left. So not my scene. Lack of reciprocity. I'm not your servant and you're not mine. Backslash ahem backslash unless you're into that. Total turn off when there is no intimacy. Kissing or touch straight for the end game just puts me off. I need to be met halfway. I'll divulge all my kinky ideas and thoughts. But if you literally have nothing to bring to the table other than I just like sex, it's going to be a problem. 
I need you to communicate with me about what you like. What you want to try. And if you have any fantasies we should try to enact. I know my libido is pretty variable. I'm not a guy who's ready to go at the drop of a hat. And if I'm left to do all of the sexual slash emotional work. My libido will crash even further and then it doesn't even have to be a deal breaker because the lack of sex will kill things. Hygiene, or lack thereof. Had one GF that had something going on down there that needed to be addressed, foul thick discharge, and while I recognize this might not be a strictly hygiene thing. The smell still haunts me going forward with other partners. Ruining my desire to reciprocate. If he thinks the more dominating, vigorous and assertive he can be. The better. It's just ducking freaky my dude. Go with the flow. Two penises. One is bad enough on a woman but two? No. Not unless she has three breasts. I, a dude, once kissed a girl who had shaved her upper lip instead of threading slash waxing it. It was the most uncomfortable kiss I've ever had. I could feel the stubble rubbing against my stubble. Wanting sex too often. I'm sorry but my sex drive is too low for sex 3 to 4 times a week. If you're a male you get accused of all sorts. Cheating. Not attracted anymore. Gay. You name it. Gets a bit exhausting after a while. I really like cuddling. I'm a barrel chested dude with a beard of a lumberjack but even I like to cuddle. It gets to me when she just takes off after and I'm left there to curl up with a pillow. As she says, I'm a hard man, but a soft boy. Bad bow. Plus, not to hate on tiny dicks, but don't expect me to scream with pleasure and tell you you're huge. I'm not a liar lol. No openness to try things or having general fun times. Then in having a low or no sex drive. I want a physical relationship. Otherwise we're basically just friends. The belief that sex has to be the singular most important thing in a relationship. Sorry. I am a person with thoughts, feelings, and interests. What you are looking for is a sex toy. I am looking for a partner. Weird. Gross looking dicks. It gets hard to explain. But most penises are beautiful and some are just ducking gross looking. Has nothing to do with size typically. But it's a complete deal breaker for me. Let's open the relationship to me. When someone says that, it is usually a sign the relationship is dead or going to die soon. If they are a person who puts their own pleasure first and does the absolute minimum to aid to the experience then it's a no from me dog. Used to hook up with a guy that was into farting. Like me farting in his mouth during sex. And farting while having sex. Huge deal breaker was in a lesbian relationship with this girl. Into a bunch of kinky stuff. I drew the line when she wanted to duck me with a gun. She said she'd leave the safety on. But. Just no. During a joyous oral encounter they just punch you in the meat sack fell for that at least three times in prison. I don't like my nipples touched, guy. Makes me super uncomfortable and kind of insecure at why. Well if she's willing to have sex with me her standards are probably really low and I don't like girls with low standards. No butt stuff. We don't have to do it all the time or even the majority. But never. Seems like a waste of a perfectly good hole to me. When I was 16 my first boyfriend would make out with my armpits and tell me not to shave or wear deodorant. It was weird but he was my first boyfriend so I thought it was normal. I was visiting him at college when I woke up to him ducking my armpit. I sat up, asked why, and then drove the hour and a half home at 3 am. Being an exclusive pillow princess. I'm a switch leaning sub. But almost like clockwork I end up getting asked to dominate everyone. Because every girl I meet is even more of a sub. I need to get thrown around and pinned down too at some point, sad face. Men need to stop putting a finger in my butt when I don't ask for it. It happens way more often than you think it does. I've had to pause sex a couple of times to say get out of my butt. It's uncomfortable and we both could have avoided this if you'd have just said hey phantom fountain. Do you want a finger in your butt? No. No I do not. But thanks for asking. <laughs>